An event that's been going on for several years now, uh, working on two decades. Uh, it's a chance for the community to get together and celebrate their heritage uh, and get together, see a little fellowship, see old friends they hadn't seen for a while. So it's been a real positive thing, I think, for the community. And uh, every year, the Soundtown Ruritans, as of recent, have been the ones who've organized it. And uh, they do a good job with their pancake breakfast and then getting people out. You know, today, a little quieter with the weather the way it is, but that's what you have to deal with sometimes. Uh, the Greater Bassett Community Area, excuse me, the Greater Bassett Area Community Nonprofit is uh, organizing the market in the depot. Uh, and so we're here Tuesday nights, uh, 4 to 7, and Thursdays from 11 to 3 with uh, baked goods, uh, crafts, produce, uh, a little bit of lunch. We have the Grampy Dogs comes out. We've had uh, Bob Tuggle Farms Catering come out with Janet Ashby of uh, Windy Ridge Farms. All those have uh, joined us every day. So we have uh, regular people that come out all the time and uh, enjoy the market. We've got a group of people that come out and just have fellowship. They play a little bit of Rook, some card games, and hang out talk to each other. <clears throat> well, we enjoy the chance to get to see everybody as they come through town and to visit a little bit. So you're stopping and talking to everybody. And it is a good time when you see old friends that you hadn't seen in a while. Uh, the, uh, the festivals run until 4 o'clock. Uh, we'll have things at the depot till 3 o'clock. Uh, the parade's at 2 o'clock. And so I suspect that we'll start to see more and more people come in. So if you get a chance to come on down, you know, come on down to the depot, stop in, get over to the old high school, check out the historical uh, memorabilia displays that they've got and get out to the ball field and see uh, some, some neighbors and enjoy yourself.